What is going on everybody? I am the GZ guy. Welcome back to the channel. So we're going to do something a little bit different. As you can see, I'm shooting at night, but I just want to explain where I have been. I haven't got much content out. Things have just been hectic uh, scheduling wise with things going on. And uh, I've been doing some projects here and there. Today I actually did some work on my brother for his Mini Cooper um, with a front strut, but not being my car, I didn't feel comfortable filming that to put it on the channel and did some paint work on that as well for him. So, been doing things. Unfortunately, where we stand with the G, uh, we'll get to that in a second. I just got an email. The rest of the uh, Akibono brake kit is being shipped out. That should be here shortly. As soon as that is here, I will definitely uh, be doing a full video on that, full review and install video. So that is coming up soon. Still waiting on getting it scheduled to use the shop with the lift so we can get up and into the car get the transmission and all that swapped out or the clutch rather sorry so that is coming bear with me i apologize but again it is not my shop it is not readily available whenever i want it but as soon as i can get in there we will get that going guys i'm really uh i'm anxious myself and looking forward to it and i really want to uh take you guys along for that journey but today or tonight's video uh, we're going to go over the car at night and some of the lighting on it. Um, I have a lot of guys and gals that follow me over on Instagram and I get a whole lot of questions about it and I've went over it and I came to thinking about it. I've never actually done a video at night to show you guys uh, the car and really all the, uh, the lighting modifications and really how vibrant it is at night. So with that said, let me get this swapped around and we'll show you. So there you have it guys, the G with the uh, underglow on. So let's start with that. I've done a couple videos on it. I still get a lot of questions about it. And I appreciate you guys taking the time to ask. The question, as far as the install goes, guys, it's really simple. That's the biggest question I get. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to sound rude. It's all in the instructions. I've had a few people I've, that have reached out to me and I've talked them through it. I don't know a nicer or easier way to put it. It literally is as simple as plug and play and running the wiring and completing the circuit. It literally is a, a relay box that you can mount wherever you want. I've shown in past videos, if you're interested in that, where I mounted mine, you mount the box, you have a positive and a negative wire, you gotta run the wiring down, make sure it's not touching any hot or moving parts. And from there, everything, literally, there's an app you download on your phone and it's Bluetooth enabled, okay? So, multi-colors, unfortunately, while I'm filming, because I use my phone, I can't change the colors out for you. Um, I'll throw some clips in here towards the end of just some of the other colors. So with that said, there you go. You have the neons underneath the car, looking good. Again, it's not for everybody, but I really like the way it looks. Um, yeah, again, simple as one, two, three. So moving to the front of the car, uh, if you remember another video back, I told you I'd let you know about the uh, lead side markers. Still running them. I actually, they've grown on me, even with the uh, new style where they stick out. Unfortunately, the camera doesn't pick it up well, but you do have a nice straight line in there. It is cold out, so I apologize, guys. Uh, like, the headlights are a little fogged up, not on the inside, but on the outside of the lens there. Got the spec -Ds. Um Again when you get those you'll have to swap out your ballast the instructions are there it's not real hard to do just take your time guys remember when you're working on your car it's not a race take your time do it right the first time and you'll benefit in the long run so let's move around to the back of the car um i haven't done anything with the tail lights on it other than running the uh tail light eyelids but I did go ahead and put LEDs in my license plate <coughs> uh, bulbs or uh, lights. Gives it a little bit cleaner look. It's a lot brighter. I'm thinking about doing the turn as tails on the uh, actual tail lights. And here in a second, I'll shut the car off and I'll show you. I did swap out my reverse lights on this vehicle as well. Moving on to the interior as we turn the headlights on so I can show you the different bulbs. I did swap out the interior lighting with all blue LEDs. Uh, so I did the courtesy lights down on the side here with blue LEDs in them. 
gives it a nice look as well as the uh, dome lights with blue LEDs that is kind of my color scheme on this car as far as lighting interior wise and under the hood with like hoses and accessories like that so I think it gives it a nice clean overall look it looks really good with all the carbon fiber pieces we got going on inside and uh, again super cheap easy mod to do so moving back on to the outside of the car here really quick to the headlights I did swap out the headlight bulbs in it I will have to look guys I can't remember the exact brand I apologize for that um, I did get the headlights off of Amazon uh, but nice and bright super clear and as you can see those you know on dim right there but definitely definitely a good modification even for stock headlights I would suggest swapping out your headlight bulbs and uh, getting a little bit better visual of where you're going uh, again my front window is a little fogged up because it is cold outside as you can see it's only 38 but there you have it from inside the cockpit guys definitely a lot brighter and with the brights on so um shut the car off here real quick throw it into reverse and i'll show you the uh, backup lights like i was telling you Got to have the key in the on position. That was my fault. One sec, guys, sorry. There we go. So there you have it. I put blue also in my uh, reverse lights. Doesn't show up real vibrant on camera, unfortunately, but at, there you go, kind of the right angle you can get it. Um, but they are bright enough that it still is easy to see behind you so another simple easy cheap mod to do if you guys are looking for things just kind of set your car apart a little bit and uh find a modification that looks clean and is functional so there you have it guys g at night just wanted to go over a few uh, little things because like i said i've gotten a lot a lot of questions about this car and a lot of lighting questions so there's kind of the overall look at night with the blue uh, dome lights on the underglow on it just in my opinion gives a car a nice clean classy look so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video uh, i do apologize on not getting a whole lot out here um in the last few weeks like i said timing wise scheduling wise and waiting on parts to get here uh just kind of been at a standstill and do another side project so um if stuff doesn't get here within the next week or two i think i'm gonna go ahead and pull the uh, 350 into the shop and start going over some stuff on that so we can get some content thrown on here for you guys with that vehicle as well i was kind of hoping more towards summertime but uh, I got some stuff I can do interim until then. So, again, guys, thank you so much for checking in. Thanks for all the love and support. Also, we are at the 76 mark. Don't forget, I had said once we hit 80, I have a set of eyelids that are brand new for the G35 Coupe. I will be doing a giveaway. Make sure you are following me here and on Instagram. You can find me over at the GZ Guy. And there will be instructions coming up on that giveaway once we reach that 80 mark. We are super close. And again, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all the love and support. And as always, the most important thing you can do, be kind to each other. I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy, guys.